everybody! Today I'll be showing you how to make this wand pouch and wand pocket. Firstly, we're going to make the wand pouch. You will need to measure your wand and make the pouch longer by 2 inches. My wand is 14 and a half inches, so I'm making my pouch about 17 inches long. Double this length so you can fold the fabric over in the middle. Cut out your piece, fold over and stitch down each side. Double stitch one centimetre from the top, then leave a gap, and then double stitch another centimetre. This is the stitching we're going to use for the drawstring. Fold over the top open edge one centimetre. Pin and hand stitch in place. Turn the pouch right way out. Using a quick unpick, unpick the few side seam stitches at the top to create an opening for your drawstring. Do this to both sides. Cut two lengths of ribbon or cord, attach a safety pin to one end and feed it through one of the openings. When you get to the other side, continue feeding the ribbon or cord through to where you started. Pull evenly and tie a knot at the end. Do the same with the second piece but starting from the opposite side. And here is the finished product. It will make sure your wand doesn't get scratched and it looks great too. Next let's move on to the pocket. You will need to cut a piece of fabric that is 2 inches longer than your wand and about 3.5 inches wide. For the top, fold down the top edge 1 cm and iron. Fold down another 2 cm, iron and stitch along that fold line. Fold 1.5 cm down each long edge and iron in the crease. For the lower edge, turn in each of the bottom corners and then fold that up to make a straight edge. Iron it in place. Put on your garment and find where you naturally place a wand. Mark this with a pin and use this to guide your pocket placement. Pin and hand stitch your pocket to the lining. When stitching, be careful to only catch the lining so it's invisible from the outside. We don't want any muggles catching on that you're magical. And you're done! These are two quick and easy ways to store your wand. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.